Hey, this is Manly with verticallessons.com. You ever have a day when you get home and you're, or maybe you're just driving home, you go, man, this rocked. I really had a good day. I got all these things done that I wanted to do, had some meaningful interactions. Or the opposite of that is the day when we're on the way home or we get home or just wiped out, frustrated, because you knew you had a lot of things you needed to accomplish, but the day got sideways on you. You got swept away in the chaos of junk that we just have to deal with from day to day. This video is all about help, helping you have more of scenario A. I want you to be able to walk in your home at the end of the day more fulfilled than frustrated with more left over for those who love and need you most. We're gonna accomplish that making sure that you have three strategic moments in your day that will absolutely help you get more done and help you feel better about what's going on and be more productive and serve those that you connect with every single day. The three moments are number one, Clarity, single word, that's the focus, that's the objective. It's about getting clarity, and this is typically earlier in the day. I would invite you to do a few things in this moment. I've got a deep dive video that will train you. I'll give you a free one-page planner that will blow your mind. There's gonna be a link in the below this video as one example of what you could do. Maybe you already have some routines that you already do. Maybe you're not as consistent as you wanna be. Maybe you have a tool that you already use, an electronic one or a written tool. I, by the way, recommend, strongly recommend handwriting out your strategic plan for the day. Uh, and I am a guy who used to be, get paid professionally to implement business systems. So I'm all about using technical tools. It turns out the most effective tool, in my opinion, for strategically planning your day and getting clarity is actually a handwritten planner or journal. Clarity, take that moment and a little tactical, tactical tip for you is to make sure you attach that to an existing routine, something you already do. Maybe you get coffee or water when you get to work or you have a routine at home or when you work out before or after, when you can carve out that moment and get some clarity on exactly what it is you want to accomplish for the day that's most important for you. The next moment of the day I wanna invite you to be very consistent on is momentum. I call this the momentum check-in, one word. It's about momentum. It's checking and seeing it. How's it going? Am I on track to win this day or am I sideways? Today's a perfect example. I did my midday momentum check-in and while I had a very productive morning, I got something I needed done uh, to do done. I found myself off track for all the other things I needed to get done today. So I declared a restart. So, all right, I'm gonna restart the day. I sat down, had a little lunch, got some uh, refocused and more clarity on what I needed to do for the rest of the day and rebuilt the momentum midday. Make sure you do the midday momentum check-in. That obviously could be anchored to lunch or any kind of break you have somewhere in the middle of the day. Great time to do that and make that moment happen. Third moment and last moment of the day is anchored with the word reflection. That is the key focus and outcome of the evening is to reflect on everything you did. Now this can be at the end of your work day or perhaps at the end of your complete day before you go to sleep. Both have advantages. Uh, reflection is the point though. I'll give you a quick tactical debriefing process that I use at that moment. There's really two components uh, in particular. One is to be grateful and try to write down a few things you're grateful for. But at the very least, I want you to start focusing on constantly improving your results. If you'll ask two simple questions. Number one, what did I like best about today? And I want you to be very specific about the language you use. Liked best. Not beat up on yourself, but what did I, uh, not just r gloss over all the things you accomplished, but to truly look at what did I like best about today? Or what summits am I willing to celebrate today? Little stuff and big stuff, what went well? And just recap a few things that pop in your mind. Write those down. Next step to write down, next time I would have done this differently. Next time, that's future and constructive forward focused so that you're not beating yourself up, but you're just saying, look, next time I would do this differently. Another way to phrase that is to ask yourself, what lesson did I learn today? and fill in the blank. So next time, boom, or lesson learned, and write that out. So you're focusing on improving, and if you do this consistently, you will consistently elevate your results and be less frustrated with all the things you're trying to accomplish in your life. That's it, three moments. Are you doing these? Are you intentional about it? How consistent are you about it? The first moment of the day is about clarity. 
Moment number two is about momentum, and moment number three is about reflection. When you have a moment of clarity, the momentum check-in, and a reflection moment every single day, your results will dramatically, consistently improve over time. I hope this has been helpful for you. Please leave a comment below and let me know what you think. If you know someone in your life that might find meaning or value in this, please forward it to them. I would love to, for you to share my work with them. And I appreciate you listening to this video and tuning in. Thanks again.